Hey, what's up? I'm Tim from Experimental RC. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing some KF airfoil flight testing. So in one of my previous videos, I did some wind tunnel testing to compare a KF2 airfoil to a regular airfoil, and I got some excellent feedback in response to that video, and I want to continue with my experimentation of KF airfoils. So I have my basic scratch-built trainer here. I have the initial unprofiled wing that I built for it. I also have three other wings, a KF2 wing, a KF3, and a KF4. And I'm going to just be flying the plane around with the different wings to get a better idea of the flight characteristics of each one. Later on, I'm going to be doing some more testing to measure things like top speed, maximum payload, and also some continued wind tunnel testing. However, today I'm just going to be doing a very basic test to see how each wing compares to the other. First up is the unprofiled wing with a beveled front edge. Considering how simple this wing is, I really don't mind it. At higher speeds, I've noticed unprofiled wings like this kind of get jittery. Um, also, it has to maintain a fairly high angle of attack to generate enough lift to fly level, so it requires quite a bit more thrust than a similar airfoiled wing. I find that for the most part this wing is quite manageable, however it does have some weird flight tendencies at times. Next we have the KF-M2, which is considered a utility airfoil among the scratch built community. It has one step at 50% of the cord. Now it might be difficult to see here in this video, however this flies a million times better than the unprofiled wing. Structurally it's also quite a bit stronger, and yet it isn't difficult to build at all. You can see that this plane just flies better in general. It's much more predictable, there's no jitter at high speeds, and it has great slow flight performance. And most importantly, a much smaller angle of attack is required to generate lift. Now we have the KF-M4, which is a symmetrical airfoil with a step on the top and the bottom, both at 50% of the cord. And generally airfoils like this are used on aerobatic aircraft. Even though theoretically the wing doesn't generate lift due to its symmetry, it cuts through the air much better than the profiled wing. It definitely feels faster, it's more agile, and there's still no jitter at high speeds. However, it doesn't fly nearly as slowly as the KF-M2. Finally, the last wing I have to test is the KF-M3, which has two steps on the top, one at 50% and a smaller one at 75%, and it's known to be a heavy lifter as the extra step is set to increase lift. Right away, you can see how much slower it is than the previous wings we looked at. The handling is extremely predictable, and the aircraft is also very stable. It is able to maintain level flight with almost no throttle, and it has tons of lift at high speed. It also glides well and seems very resistant to stalling. Alright, so I know this was just a very basic test that we did here today, but I really wanted to share it because the differences be between each wing were just so obvious to see when I was flying it, and uh, the wings lived up to everything that I heard about them. 
So stay tuned, I have more experiments uh, to do with KF airfoils coming soon, along with a number of other fun projects on the go. Thanks for watching.